Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hilary Foya and today I'll be showing you how I transformed an old chest of drawer and painted it and uh, like yeah I just made it look a little bit rustic. Um, so <laughs> I will show you the process. Just a disclaimer, I am not a professional. This is actually my first time trying out this project. So please, please do your research. I'm just sharing my experience uh, and my mistakes and you know. As you can see on the floor, I have a plastic that is protecting the floor. Like it's gonna protect the floor from the paint. And I'm just starting out by cleaning any dust or any dirt and oil on the surface using some soapy water. And after that, I'm just going to go over it again with a dry cloth and dry it off. Because I didn't want to sand, I don't feel like sanding. Um, I'm using this ESP surface prep so that I don't have to sand the chest of drawers. It's pretty shiny already, so I need to make sure I have something that will allow me to be able to, like for the paint to be able to stick to it. And um, I also have a, oh yeah, I'm just applying it with a, like, you know, those cleaning cloths. It's a sponge and it's got like a semi rough surface um, on the end of it. And yeah, I'm just like applying it with that. As you can see, I'm also wearing some gloves. This is very important to uh, protect your skin. For the paint, I used Dulux High Gloss Finish. And I just bought it into a lunchbox to make it easier to apply. And I'm pretty much just going to use you know, a paintbrush just to apply it. So right now, I'm just applying a thin coat of paint because I want it to dry really quickly. just applying a second coat of the paint I just pretty much went straight back into it after finishing the drawers because the paint was already touch dry and I'm just applying really thin layers of the paint onto the chest of drawers I actually like found this um, tutorial on YouTube on someone who did the same technique and I thought okay I'll try it out um, so that I can get as much done possible in one day And then on to the third coat. And because the chest of drawers is black to start with, which is, you know, a dark color, um, I needed a, a bit more coats than if, it, if I was starting with a lighter color or with a white based chest of drawer, I maybe wouldn't have needed as many coats. So I have put about um, five coats of paint onto the chest of drawers. I sound out of breath. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, as you can see here, I didn't really properly cover it. Um, but yeah, this is about like five coats because I did thin coats. That's why it's like a lot. And it's dry now. I've actually left it for like a couple of days and I feel like this paint um, takes so long to dry and also because I did a lot of coats at once it was just a little crazy. Um, but yeah, this is what it's looking like um, close up and uh, you can kind of see that it's a little bit dark there, but like here near the window, you kind of see what the surface looks like. Now, like if you look um, closely, 
it's not very smooth like you can see the the paint the the paint brush strokes though I gotta say the the black is is pretty much covered um, but I don't like how not smooth it is so um, I actually went to Bunnings and I thought I had to put a top coat and I thought let me ask somebody because you know I this is my first time doing something like this um, so yeah disclaimer I'm not a professional this is just my experience um, yeah so I asked him when I was about to get a top coat and he said no you don't need one the paint because it's gloss it's like the, the paint and the top coat I said okay sounds good so I didn't end up buying the top coat but I did however buy um, the sanding paper so the, the yellow one is a 220 grit um, by Trojan I think that's how you say it and then I got two of these um, you know this one is a coarse one and this one is a fine one so like this one, the coarse one right here is the medium, and then this is the fine one. I don't have the paper, but you know, it's basically the same thing, just fine. Anywho, I am gonna try wet sanding for the first time, because you know, I did my Google research. Gotta love Google. Um, let's see how that goes. So I got my bucket of some water, and I'm just gonna put the sand the sand box in there and um, start sanding just see how that goes um, a little bit of a clean. oh my gosh I'm so scared look at that no I think this one is too coarse. I'm gonna go in with a really fine one. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go in with a really fine one. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. I hope you can see that. Like, okay, so I've kind of removed the paint there a little bit but it looks so much more flatter i pretty much did the same thing for the entire chest of drawers except for the sides because well wow <laughs> so this is the final look and i kind of decided to distress it a little bit um that was not the first decision but i you know accidentally sanded <laughs> too much because there was a place already um, poking out and I know that it's because I didn't sand before painting so ideally if you have this you need to sand until the surface is flat anyways there's a place already poking out so like I just thought you know what let's just give it a distressed look and I love it. I think it looks really good. I gotta say, however, I am not sure how long this paint is going to last. Um, I don't know what I did wrong. I primed, I painted, and they said you don't need a top coat, so I didn't put a top coat. Um, but if I was to like, you know, lightly remove it, it will come off. But since I've distressed it, I hope it will sort of morph into like its own, you know, piece of work. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I, if you like, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe and click the notification button so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!